Let's talk about using Android apps on your Chromebook. In 2016, Google announced that they wanted to bring the Android ecosystem to Chromebooks. And ever since, they have been working on doing just that. Now, the process of making Chromebooks compatible with Android was a little more difficult than I think Google originally envisioned. And it's taken a lot longer than even I uh, thought uh, it would, but we're getting to a point where Android and Chrome are working fairly well. I'd like to show you a couple of things to check for your Chromebook. Um, now, it's still worth mentioning that this whole merging and, and combining of operating system is still under uh, construction. It is pretty good. But even as I was preparing to create this video, there's all kinds of little annoyances and things that still aren't quite working. So this is definitely something to keep your eye on if you enjoy kind of being the leader of technology in your school. If you like exploring the new thing, then you'll enjoy this. If you really don't want to deal with the technical side of things and just want stuff to work, you may want to wait just a little bit. Now, a couple of things before we get into content. The first thing that you're going to need to do is verify that the Chromebook that you use is compatible. Um, and to do so, you're going to need to access this uh, website, this page from Google. I will put the link to the, in the description for this video. Most Chromebooks manufactured after 2016 should be compatible, and many manufactured before that um, are compatible as well. So you'll just have to verify. Most Chromebooks, unless it's you know three, four, five years old, should be ready to go. So that's the first thing to do now. Um, if you look up your Chromebook um, and you see it listed as stable, then you're ready to go. Um, I'll show you how to get started, but you shouldn't really have to do a whole lot. You may see that your Chromebook is listed as planned, which means it is not currently available, but will be soon. And I don't know if there's too many in here, but if you see one that says developer channel, um, that means that You'd have to do some extra work to, to get it to work, but you could. Um, honestly, I would only test this out if your Chromebook uh, is listed as stable channel. If it is, then all you have to do is click on the app launcher in the bottom left corner of your screen and do a search for Play Store. If you see the Play Store icon, then your Chromebook is ready to go and will accept Android apps. Now, if you are a educator and you are signed in using your school G Suite account, it is very unlikely that this is going to be enabled for your G Suite account. Your IT director has a lot of control over what content uh, you can put on your Chromebook. It's not impossible, but it's it's unlikely that they have enabled it. So I would recommend signing into your Chromebook using a personal Gmail account uh, to test this out. That's what I am using right now. So if you see the Play Store, you're just going to click on it, and that'll take you into Google Play, which is their app store. And you'll see a variety of content in here. And uh, I'll show you a couple of my recommended apps to get you started. Now, if you're an Android phone user, um, the first thing I would do is just install some of the apps that you commonly use on your phone. It is worth noting that not every app that is available on your phone will be compatible with your Chromebook. There are some technical features um, like GPS, for example. So if an app relies on GPS, your Chromebook doesn't have a GPS chip, and so that particular app may not work. It's up to the app developer to make their uh, content compatible with Chromebooks. It's not necessarily automatic. Um, so let's just start with some super simple ones. Um, I mean, this isn't really an education example, but Instagram is a great option. I actually this is probably the Android app that I use most. Um, I do a lot of content for teachers on Instagram, and it's just super helpful to be able to um, post things on my Chromebook. So I can install that. Um, now, Instagram 
is a good example of where we're at. Um, because as you'll note here that yes, it opens and I can see it, but it is a little bit interesting because the app has not been reconfigured for the larger Chromebook screen. So it still is very much in a phone orientation. Many apps that you'll open will um, be like this. Very similar if you remember back in the day when the iPad came out, um, you could run iPhone apps on your iPad, just kind of stretched them out. So that's one thing to be aware of uh, with some of these Android apps. Um, now let me give you another um, example, another good one to install. Um, the Adobe suite of products uh, works pretty well. Um, so if you just search for Adobe, you know, they have a variety of things like Photoshop, Adobe Spark. Um, and these have been optimized for Chrome. Let me open up a uh, Photoshop Express. Um, Adobe's worked very hard to um, make this um, very nice for Chromebook. So different experience. Now you can see a much more full screen um, example. This one has been optimized for the larger Chromebook screen, uh, which is very useful. So we'll try to sign in. Sometimes I get an error when I get to this point, so we'll see what happens. Looks good. Um, but this is a great example of, you know, accessing content on your Chromebook that previously we couldn't. Um, so, you know, we could run Photoshop um, previously. So I can open up an image. This is pulling from my Chromebook file storage, and uh, I've got uh, Photoshop Express uh, running now. So it works um, pretty well. That's the basics. Um, I will link in the description for this video to some um, recommended Android apps for education. I'm just going to point out a couple final things before I uh, take off. Um, if you want to adjust some of the settings for your Chromebook, uh, what you can do is go into settings for your Chromebook. So I'm going to click, uh, I open the Chrome browser, click in the top corner on the snowman, down to settings. And if I click on the hamburger up here at the top, um, I will now see Google Play Store. And this is where I can adjust the settings for Android apps. Um, so things related to which account your apps are going to be able to access, um, credit card data, if you're purchasing apps, um, and then what might be important for you to look at is the amount of storage space you want to allocate to Android apps. I have a, lar a Chromebook with a larger hard drive. If you don't, at some point, you will run into issues filling up uh, the available storage space. So this is where you can check and uh, clear some of that storage if necessary. I hope you have uh, some time to explore the Play Store and look for tools for your Chromebook through uh, the Android apps that are now available.